I hope you guys are having a good day. Let's see what Disney's up to. A new show on Disney Plus teaches kids that men have periods too. But of course, you already knew that. On next week's episode, pigs will fly. Why not? After all, it's just part of what puts the plus in Disney Plus. Chris Rufo released footage from the popular show produced by Disney that contains a scene in which more transgender delusions are shoved down kids' throats. Here's a bit of it. Enjoy. Excuse me, which of these products would you recommend? Oh, um, well, these are the tampons I usually use. Thank you. I prefer pads. They're more comfortable for me. Thank you. I always get the ones with wings. Thank you. Get them scented and bleach free if you can. Thank you. Yo, my daughter loves these. Thank you. These might be easier if it's her first period. Thank these you. are really environmentally friendly. This footage came from Disney's show Baymax, which promotes the transgender ideology and the idea that men can have periods. Trust the science, folks. In the clip, the gay robot is seen looking for goodies in the women's hygiene aisle. He asks a woman which of the products she recommends, and instantly people began voicing their opinions. After all, everyone knows that all the best conversations are whipped up over a box of tampons. In one clip, the androgynous character is wearing a t-shirt with the transgender flag and says, I always use the one with wings, and he hands over a box of the pads. It's a real tearjerker, folks. The bizarre character is just casually dropped into the scene as if the situation is completely organic. It's just one example of how Disney has completely gone to pot. The once great company has come under considerable fire this year after their CEO spoke out against Florida's parental rights and education bill, nicknamed by morons that don't say gay bill. The measure prohibits sex ed in schools for children between 5 and 8. It could also be called the Don't Groom My Kid bill. Over the last couple of years, Disney has doubled down on its efforts to push gay agenda, especially that of the transgender type. Disney executives recently had a meeting called the Reimagine Tomorrow Conversation Series and pledged to mobilize the entire company in servitude to the gay community. Executives recruited the company's most intersectional employees, including a black, queer, and trans person, a bi-romantic asexual, the mother of a transgender child and a pansexual child, and announced ambitious new grooming plans. At the meeting, Carrie Burke, who is president of Disney's General Entertainment content, said her son sent her a text saying Gen Z is 30 to 40 percent queerer than other generations, so Disney better get with it. Carrie said the company has begun targeting Gen Z and millennials with queer inclusion content. Isn't that lovely? Burke explained the thought process behind all this perversion. She said, it was very much in the brand ethos of freedom to be the tip of the spear when it comes to inclusion. And we jumped up and down and we celebrated that nobody stopped us and it felt great. In part, I think nobody stopped us because we were targeting Gen Z and millennials. Okay, I'm not sure why we don't care about them, but... We were targeting a younger, I think more open-minded generation, Burke continued as she referred to her son's text message stating Gen Z is 30 to 40 percent queerer than other generations. When I was at Freeform, um, it was very much in the brand ethos of Freeform to be the tip of the spear when it comes to inclusion. And um, and we, like you, Latoya, I mean, we jumped up and down. We celebrated that. Nobody stopped us. And, and it felt great. And, and in part, I, I think nobody stopped us because we were, um, you know, we were targeting Gen Z and, and millennials. We were tar targeting a younger, um, I, I think more open-minded. Um, and, and now we know, you know, as my son texted me this morning, <laughs> you know, Gen Z is 30 to 40% queerer than the other generation's mom. So Disney better get with it. <laughs> Executive producer Latoya Ravineau laid out Disney's ideology in blunt terms during the meeting. She said her team was implementing a not-at-all-secret gay agenda and regularly adding queerness to children's programs. 
Another speaker said his team had created a tracker to ensure they're producing enough trans, asexual, and bisexual characters. Well, thank goodness for that. Burke said she supported having many, many, many queer characters in our stories and reaffirmed the company's pledge to make at least 50% of its on-screen characters sexual and racial minorities. According to the Daily Beast, conservative idiots, that would be me, are losing their minds over gay robots and transgender weirdos in the girly aisle. The rest of the internet, of course, is just elated. Baymax, a new series based on the beloved puffy robot from Big Hero 6, has included a couple of queer characters, a rare and refreshing effort to promote inclusivity on children's television. Well, isn't that special? Of course, the show features an all-genders restroom in a middle school. That's just great. Then, a gay robot goes to the store, encounters a creepy character wearing a transgender flag, and helps a young girl realize that periods are not just for cisgender women. That's the stuff Hallmark cards are made of. Am I right? Although many social media users love gay robots, there is pushback against the messaging of the program. Homophobic bigots, like me, just really aren't all that impressed with all this grooming. According to the Daily Beast, Disney's long overdue introduction of queer identity into its projects has unsurprisingly been a lightning rod amidst the culture war and current state of regressive moral panic. In the past year alone, the release of Lightyear, which included a gay couple, has ignited outrage from conservative parents not wanting representation, not to mention education and youth-oriented entertainment. Baymax and Disney have laid out a valuable lesson, and even better if anyone in the audience happens to be transmasculine, then they are going to know they're not alone in the world. Statistically, I'd say they're pretty darn close. You can catch up with LGBTQ plus icon Baymax via his new show, which is streaming now on Disney Plus with his original Big Hero 6, but I don't recommend it. I'd rather watch paint dry. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in a while.